There can be little argument that 1911 pistols are more popular today than they have been in their entire 100 year history. In this segment, we're going to look at a new 1911 pistol from America's oldest gun manufacturer. Welcome back to Davidson's Gallery of Guns. Joining Anne Marie and I again is Frank W. James from the Shotgun News, and we're looking at Remington's 1911 R1 pistol. You know, Big Green has always been known for their rifles and shotguns, Frank. Why are they now making a 1911 pistol? Well, actually, Bo, this is not the first time that they've made a 1911 pistol. Back in World War I, Remington made in excess of 21,000 pistols for the United States Army. Is the 1911 R1 a commemorative? Well, yes and no, Anne-Marie. This is the 100th anniversary of the American military adopting the 1911 pistol, and many gun companies are making so-called retro pistols, pistols that are extremely close to the original design. And the 1911 R1 isn't? Well, while this pistol has a lot of similarities to the original, it also has many modern features. Both the slide and the frame are machined steel. There's no polymers or alloys used here. Among the original style features are the thumb safety and the grip safety, the slide release, and the hammer, although the hammer in this case is narrow when the original one was very wide. But also like the original, it uses a flat mainspring housing. Frank, are those wooden grip panels? Yes, these are walnut. And just like the original, they, they feature double diamonds, and they're heavily checkered. Anything else? Yes, Bo, it's in 45 ACP, one of the most proven combat pistol cartridges ever created. It is proven both accurate and hard hitting, and it's good for medium sized game on down. Plus, this gun comes with an original style, single column, seven round magazine. Frank, what are the modern features? The modern features are, it comes with a stainless steel barrel and stainless steel muzzle bushing. The sights are totally modern. They're both dovetail installed front and rear. The front sight has a single white dot. The rear sight has, is a single blade with a wide U-notch and two white dots. Clear. And all of those help in the accuracy department, right, Frank? They sure do. The magazine well has been beveled for a faster reload. The ejection port has been lowered and it's flared. And the gun comes with a black oxide finish, which is far better than what the original blue finish was on the original 1911 pistol. Another important thing to remember is this gun comes with two magazines and it's in a hard lockable carrying case. Well, I know when we had it on the range the other day, I mean, we really saw how accurate this thing is. And I mean, it shoots so smoothly. What did you think of it? I tell you what, this is really, to me, I was surprised by how good it shot, the sight alignment on it, the trigger pull, how easy it is to get this thing. And I've been shooting 1911 pistols for longer than I really care to remember. But I wish that when I started out in shooting, that this gun was available. This is really a good product. It has a good trigger pull. It's good value for the money. It's very high quality. I really like this gun. Absolutely, so did I. And I think Anne Marie's found something for us using the gun genie. What did you come up with? Well, I ran a search in the Lafayette, Indiana area and found seven gallery of gun dealers within 50 miles. Now the suggested retail price is $719, but after my search, I found that several of them have it for less. You know, $719 for the 1911 R1 is a great price, but as Anne Marie just showed you, using the Gun Genie at www.galleryofguns.com is going to save you a lot of money.